the next session on ANSYS CFD tutorials. In this session, we will take up the analysis of a converging diverging type of nozzle. We will start by double clicking on fluid flow fluent. Then I will go to geometry and right click. New design modular geometry. I'll choose units as millimeter, XY plane, look at. Then I'll go to sketching and choose line. I'll first draw the shape of the converging diverging type. Then I'll go to modify and use trim option and remove the excess part. Now I'll go to dimension and give these dimensions. Then I'll choose horizontal and give the distance between these two points. So V1, I'll give 15 mm. V4 is 30. H8 is 25, H3 is 100, H2 is 5. So this is the geometry. Then I'll go back to modeling. Next I'll go to revolve. I'll select geometry and give the axis. Apply. Operation is add frozen. Generate. Now this is the converging diverging type of nozzle. Now what I'll add to this is thin surface. I'll choose faces to keep these faces apply. The thickness will be 1 mm. Generate. So this is the nozzle. Now this 1 mm looks a little bigger so I'll just make it to 0.5 mm. Generate. This looks fine. Now this is just the surface so I'll have to give the fluid as well. I'll go to tools, fill, I'll select the surfaces which I want to fill with the fluid, apply, generate. So now you can see there are two parts, two bodies. This is the outer surface. I'll rename this as ball and the inner fluid I'll rename as fluid itself. So this completes the geometry. I close the screen and I'll go to mesh and double click. I'll go to mesh and I'll change the default sizing of mesh to 0.01 meter and generate. See the meshing has been done on the fluid and on the wall surface as well. Now I'll name the surfaces. This is the inlet. So create name selection. This is the wall. So I'll select all three surfaces. Right click create name selection. Wall. And this side is the outlet. Again create name selection. Outlet. So all three have been created. You can see here. Now what you need to do is you need to go to mesh again and update. You will see here the mesh translation to fluent was successful. Once you get this message, your meshing is fully complete. So now I'll close this window. I'll go to setup and double click on it. I'll select double precision. And start. I'll first go to gravity and along the y axis, I'll give the value as 9.81 meter per second square. Then I'll go to material. Now, here I'm going to use air as the fluid. This is a converging, diverging type of nozzle. 
there are various applications of this type of nozzle it is primarily used to accelerate a compressible fluid to supersonic speeds so it is used in propulsion systems like rocket engines supersonic jet engines and afterburners where high thrust is required by converting thermal energy to kinetic energy through rapid acceleration of the exhaust gases it is also used in supersonic wind tunnels to generate high speed air flow so when you have all these applications you will be using fluid as air and solid i'll choose steel so i'll go to fluid database i'll change the material type to solid here i'll choose steel copy close and then i'll close this you can see here solid steel has been added once you have added the material you go to boundary conditions inlet velocity since it is supersonic it will be more than the speed of sound so i'll give this velocity as say 365 meters per second apply close once you have given the boundary condition you will go to reference values compute from inlet reference zone is a fluid then i'll go to initialization i'll choose standard initialization compute from inlet and i'll click on initialize once this is done i'll go to calculation activities auto save every iteration here i'll choose 20 as the value once this is done i'll go to graphics i'll choose path lines here i'll choose pressure first i want to see the dynamic pressure on the inlet outlet wall wall and wall one save display you can see here then i'll go to path lines again and double click i'll go to color by i'll choose velocity surface is inlet outlet wall wall and wall one save display this is also done you can see here the variation of the velocity after path line i'll choose contours contours of pressure i want to see the dynamic pressure here i'll choose contact region trg save display again i'll click on contours i want to see the velocity i'll choose contact region trg save display so here also you can see the variation of the velocities once this is done this is where the results will be showing after this is done i'll go to run calculations number of iterations i'll give as 500 and calculate you can see the calculation is done the solution has converged at 257th iteration you can read over here that means 257 number of iterations were enough but i gave 500 so that's okay it will show you the converged solution at this value here you can see the solution has converged at the 250th iteration and after that there was no graph over here so once this is done i will close this then i'll go to results and double click on it here i'll go to inlet double click and i'll go to render i'll change transparency to 0.9 the same thing i'll do for the outlet wall wall and the wall one
then I'll go to streamline. Okay. So I'll start from inlet. Apply. So here you can see the streamlines. Now I'll go to animation and animate the streamline. I'll choose type as sweep animation. Select streamline 1. Remove this whatever loop. You can have 2 or 3 repeats of it. And you can set some speed. And play. So you can see here these particles. They are moving from the inlet to the outlet. The central molecules will have a little higher speed. Let me change this ball size to say 1.2. So now you can see clearly the size. The central molecules will have higher velocity because they are facing least resistance. But the molecules which are towards the wall will have a little resistance by the wall. So they will be undergoing shear stress. Now streamline work is done. After this you will go to contour. Okay. I will select contact region TRG. I want to see the pressure acting locally. Apply. I'll first remove the streamline option such that no streamlines are seen here. Here you can see the contour lines. You can go to render and remove the show contour lines. Apply. So you can see this kind of a variation. The pressure at this red end is 1.65 into 10 raised to 5 Pascal. And on this end, which is yellow, you can see that it is varying from this range of minus 7 into 10 raised to 4 to 8 into 10 raised to 3. This is lesser as compared to the pressure at the red end. At the central portion over here where the diameter has drastically changed, here the pressure is minus 6.2 into 10 raised to 5. That means it is showing vacuum pressure at this portion. The pressure has become very very less. So once you have done this, create another contour, contact region TRG, here I'll choose velocity and I want to see the local values. You can go to render and remove show contour lines such that the lines disappear. So what I've done is I have unhighlighted the contour 1 after I've created the contour 2. Also, for this contact region TRG, I have changed its render value to 0.9. Now, what you can see is the velocity. At this end, the velocity is somewhere here, 3.3 to 10 raised to 2. At the central portion, it is the maximum because the velocity is going to be very high here. And at this end, again, you can see the value is 8.4 meters per second. Again, the velocity has reduced. Because the diameter is increased, the velocity has to reduce. At the central portion, diameter has reduced, velocity will increase. And at this portion, the velocity is lesser as compared to here. So here also the velocity should be little changing. You know, it will not be the same at these two diameters. But here the velocity will be least because the diameter is the most. So with this, I end the session. I hope you have understood the analysis. If you have any doubts, please write to me in the comment section. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe to the channel. Hit the bell icon for latest video updates. See you in the next session. Thank you.